Good evening. First to breaking news and a major manhunt is underway for an armed robber after a hold-up at a service station in Melbourne's southeast. Estelle Greepink joins us live from Cranbourne. Good evening, Estelle. Take us through what's happened. Good evening, Jack. Well, this was a terrifying incident for all those involved here at the 7-Eleven in Cranbourne North. It was just before 1.30 this afternoon when a man wearing a bandana and brandishing a handgun came up to the female attendant behind the desk and made demands for cash. We've just spoken to a witness, Paul Papagiorgio. He was inside getting coffee with his mother when this unfolded. Here's what he had to say. Then I saw a guy uh, with a uh, bandana across his face uh, pointing a gun, robbing the attendant. So I just grabbed my mum and said, come on, let's get out of here. I don't know if the gun was loaded or what their reaction would be. So I just thought better to get out of there. Now, Paul says the gunman was tall and skinny and was yelling at the attendant to fill up his bag with money. He then went outside where a white Mercedes Benz was parked and fled the scene. That car was then involved in a crash with two civilian vehicles. The offender got out of the car and fled and that sparked a massive police search for the offender. They visited a number of addresses where it was thought for him to be hiding, but as of tonight, he hasn't been found. What has been found, however, is that white Mercedes Benz. Inside, police found the hand gun. It turned out to be an imitation, but no doubt it was still very shocking for that attendant and everyone inside the 7-Eleven. Now, Jack, that man is being described as African in appearance, about 163 centimetres tall. And at the time of the crimes, it's believed that he was barefoot. Jack? So Grey Pink reporting live there. The hunt is on for a man who threatened a service station worker during a brazen robbery at Cranbourne North this afternoon. Live now to Jonathan Kersley at the scene. Jonathan, how did all this unfold? Good evening, Brett. A very uh, terrifying set of circumstances unfolded here at the 7-Eleven uh, in Cranbourne North this afternoon. Police swarmed on this area just after 1.30. They found a white Mercedes dump not too far from here. Police spent the afternoon dusting for fingerprints and there they found an imitation handgun. An imitation handgun that is described as being very high quality. But that was the end of a crime spree across this area. Just after 1.30, the man described as being of African in appearance entered this 7-Eleven barefoot where there were customers and a staff member inside. Witnesses have described the really terrifying ordeal and the panic that unfolded in the minutes after this masked man entered the store. Fill up the bag with money and just pointing the gun at the uh, attendant's face. I was really surprised. It's just, you know, nice afternoon, grab a coffee. Next thing you see is a guy running in with a mask uh, threatening people. Police say that uh, from there the white Mercedes was driven north towards Hallam Road. There it was involved in a hit-run collision with two cars before that car was dumped not too far away in Hampton Park. Police say that the offender is described as being African in appearance. He's around about 163 centimetres tall and is of a slim build. But tonight he remains on the run. The, the manhunt is still on and there are concerns that he could still be armed, Brett.